receivable. Present value of notes receivable is equal to the present value of face amount plus the present value of interest payment. Note that the present value calculation is based on the market value interest rate, the time that the note receivable was issued. Example number one, this is an interest bearing note receivable. On January 1 of 2017, Mendoza Company sold its products to Rivera Company and received a note with 500,000 face amount, 10% annual stated interest rate, and due on December 31 of 2019. Interest is paid annually on December 31 each year. At the time of issuance, market interest rate is 12%. What is the present value of the note receivable? In this problem, Mendoza Company sold its products to Rivera Company. Si Rivera Company nag-issue ng note bilang kabayaran with a face amount of 500,000. On that note, there is a 10% annual interest rate na nakastate and the note receivable is due on December 31 of 2019. Now, the interest on that note receivable is to be paid annually on December 31 each year. At the time of issuance, the market interest rate was 12%. Now, what is the present value of that note receivable? In this problem, here are the following given. The face amount is equal to 500,000. The annual interest rate is 10%. The market interest rate, the time that the note receivable was issued, is 12%. And the period is 3, meaning 3 years. To solve for this, step 1, we are going to solve for the present value of the face amount. The present value of the face amount is equal to the face amount times the present value factor. The face amount is 500,000 and the present value factor is 0.7118. This value comes from this table. This is the present value factor for a single payment table. So we're going to look for n equals 3 and an MIR of 12%. Their intersection is the present value factor that we're looking for, and that is 0 0.1, 0 0.7118. We will multiply it to our face amount of 500,000, and the result is 355,900. Step number two, we're going to solve for the value of the interest payment. But before we proceed to that, we have to solve first for the annual interest amount, which is equal to the face amount times the annual interest rate. The face amount of our uh, note receivable is 500,000. The annual interest rate stated there is 10%. So the 10% of 500,000 is 50,000. That is our annual interest amount. We will be needing that to solve for the present value of the interest payment, which is equal to AIA times the present value factor. So that's 50,000 times 2.4018. Now this present value factor comes from this table the present value factor of an ordinary annuity. This table is different from the table in step 1 because that table is for a single payment. For the interest payment, we will be using the ordinary annuity present value factor table because the payment is recurring. Please take note. And then we're going to look for n equals 3 and an MIR of 12%. Their intersection is 2.4018. That is the present value factor we are looking for. And we will multiply it to our annual interest amount of 50,000. The present value of our interest payment is 120,090. Step number three, let us solve for the present value of the note receivable. To solve for this, we are just going to add the present value of the face amount, which is 355,900, and the present value of the interest payment, which is 120,090, and the result is 
475,990. Step 4, we will solve for the discount on the note receivables. This is equal to the face amount minus the present value of our note receivable. The face amount is 500,000 pesos and the present value of the note receivable is 475,990. Therefore, the discount on the note receivable is 24,010. Step number five, the amortization of discount on note receivable. We will be using this table. We have the date, the interest received, the market interest rate, interest income, amortization of discount, and the present value of note receivable. On January 1 of 2017, we solve the present value of the note receivable as 475,990. Remember that the face amount is 500,000. Pagdating ng December 31 of 2017, this is our computation. Our interest received is 50,000. Remember, this is 10% of the face amount, which is 500,000. So the 10% of that is 50,000. The market interest rate is 12%. To solve for the interest income, uh, take the present value of January 1, 2017, which is 475,990, and multiply it to the market interest rate 12%. The result is 57,119. For the amortization of discount, the interest income of 57,119 will be subtracted to the interest received of 50,000 equals 7,119. The amortization of discount will then be added to the present value of January 1, 2017. That's 475,990 plus 7,119 equals 483,107. And that is period 1. Now let's proceed to period 2. On December 31 of 2018, again, the interest received is 50,000. The MIR is 12%. For the interest income, Take the present value of December 31, 2017, multiply it by 12%, the result is 57,973. Minus 50,000 from the interest received, we will get the amortization of discount equals 7,973. And then we will add it to the present value of December 31, 2017, the result is 491,082. End of period 2. Last, period 3. December 31, 2019. Interest received is 50,000. MIR is 12%. Interest income, take the present value from December 31, 2018. Multiply it by 12%. The result is 58,930. And then, Minus 50,000 for the amortization of discount, the result is 8,930. This value will be added to the present value from December 31 of 2018. The result is 500,012. And that is the present value of the notes receivable at the end of period 3. That is how we solve for the present value if the note receivable bears interest.